A piece of ancient history right in our own backyard. I couldn't believe it. We, 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 were, we were shocked. There's lots of history like, all over the place, but nothing like this. Andy this Todd is, is the president of Greystone on Hudson, a 100-acre development of multi-million dollar estates currently under construction in Tarrytown. You're pretty much looking out on top of the world, uh, Tappan Zee Bridge, Hudson River. So we're just a little higher, different lots to get to see New York City. This one doesn't. This very land was once known as Millionaire's Row, home to the Rockefellers, the Astors, and the Morgans. It's where the former Greystone Castle once stood, a mansion built during the Gilded Age of the late 19th century. The widow of Josiah Macy, John D. Rockefeller's partner in Standard Oil, lived in the castle, and in 1893, she purchased a monument from the Villa Borghese in Rome. Nearly a century later, in 1976, the Greystone Castle burned to the ground. When the castle burned down, they kind of put all the, anything that was left, mainly stone, into the ground, into the foundation, and they buried it. The stone remained buried until one day last year. Excavators were digging up stone before they began construction and were amazed by what they found. Where did you make this discovery? Where did it happen? It was kind of right over, right over here behind, uh, behind this wall. The excavator's bucket goes in and it comes out and this thousand pound artifact with Latin writing is there. Everyone was scratching their heads like, what could this be? <laughs> As it turns out, it was an artifact that dates all the way back to 54 AD. It's very, very legible, deeply carved. The lettering is very precise. This is uh, typography at its best. Christopher Lightfoot is a curator of Roman art at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. He told us about the day Andy called him with news about his rare discovery. I was very, very surprised indeed. I couldn't believe it. It was incredible that uh, such a stone turned up here in New York State. Lightfoot was able to authenticate the monument based on its Latin inscription. This is undoubtedly a, a tombstone and the ashes of the deceased Tiberius Claudius Saturninus were placed in the, in the top part which is hollowed out and there would have been a lid on top of it. The monument is now on display for all to see in the Greek and Roman galleries at the Met, thousands of miles from Rome, thousands of years later, and for Andy Todd, a timeless story to tell. Who would have thought that you would find a 2,000-year-old Roman antiquity buried in the middle of Westchester? Mm -hmm.